sniper shot. Looks like Damn someone it. or You're something on is on the hunt. Good use of the available cover. Getting closer to the turret. Found a blind spot. And the turret's offline. It's safe to walk the park again. Eh, for the most part. I could have done without that. Oh, come on. It was a walk in the park. Literally. She finds a reward box. Trash. If not, the prop department really outdid themselves with this shit. Let's go. I'm gonna puke. She's got another reward box. A nasty burn! Reward box collected. Trap won't hurt anyone now. That switched it off. Taking advantage of a well placed station. To reach the final challenge of the night, the players need to get a ride on the Sky Train. The challengers will have to dodge the incoming trains if they want to cross to the other side of the tracks. Setting up on defense. She secures the area. Taking up a defensive position. Do I hear an incoming train?
the grenade finds its mark. Hoping the enemy breaks cover. Almost, but not quite. And there goes the express. She slams another cartridge home. Ah, oh, not his best shot. Locking the area down. Pays off. <laughs> Setting herself up in a defensive position. Ronan paying for breaking cover and he sets himself up for a kill shot he's reloading a pit stop to reload isn't able to reach cover safely. Laying in wait. What was he aiming at? Right on time. Trying to lay a trap. Could be tough to get past that. Exit one scum. Couldn't dodge the bullets. Waiting for a better shot. A massive hit! and confused. Huh. Oh, and that, folks, is why you don't play on the train tracks. Well, that's a wrap for this challenge, with this talented group of contestants making it through without a single casualty. What a ride! Next up, final challenge. Is it just me, or are these episodes getting longer?
this? I sure start to feel longer after a while. Hey, you! Red! Hey, come here! Would you sign this photo? But that's not me. Yeah, that's okay. Just sign it. Oh, man, she fucked up my merch! The road ahead is guarded by drones, and they're programmed to shoot on sight. Trying to sneak past the drones. Oh, spike trap! Persistence pays off with another award. And the challengers outsmart the security drones. Wish we could just shoot them. Not around here we can. Gotta mix things up for the fans, right? I used to have a car like this. Old style manual controls and everything. A real classic. And that brings us to tonight's final challenge. The Smoke and Mirrors Arena. Is something burning, or is this whole episode just too hot to handle?
anybody home? are faced with a few impervious to ranged weapons when surrounded by his smoke screen this elusive foe should prove a serious challenge for the contestants Fresh ammo. Ammo ready to go. And that wraps another challenge. The contestants sail through without losing anyone along the way.
tonight's episode of Homicidal All-Stars. I have to say, these challengers are fun to watch. Tune in tomorrow night to see if luck continues to be on their side as they brave the abandoned housing block where a new, even deadlier defender is ready to make their lives a living hell. Good evening, Challenger. Anything I can help you with? Sure. How about tomorrow night you come out into the battlefield with us? Maybe run some interference? That would be really helpful. I was thinking along the lines of maybe some extra pillows. I'm sure you were. I think I already got enough exercise tonight. Y'all stay safe out there, you hear? Oh, um... Thanks. Yeah. Get paid by the hour. The longer you hang on, the more I get paid, see? Oh. Right. That's one way to relax after a whole day of almost getting murdered. Reception? Like in a hotel? Level 10, huh? With more than half the contestants dead, some of the floors must be empty by now. Not that Omega has to worry about electricity bills. So I've been wondering, why did you come back on the show? I mean, you won the whole thing, got all that money. Why put yourself through this again? <laughs> Let's just say I made some... bad investments. You're... Broke? Broke is such a harsh word, but, um, yeah. What about you? Let's just say for me, it's not about the money. And that's all I'm gonna get out of you, huh? All right, kid, keep your secrets. Got any more advice about what's coming next? I recorded some strategy reminders, yeah. Mind if I listen to them? Knock yourself out. Abandoned housing projects. Pretty sure that's what's coming up soon. Mostly, I remember it feeling kind of familiar, like where I grew up. Gotta avoid getting turned around. Whole place feels like a maze. Also a great place for ambushes. Important to keep that in mind. Sounds like good advice. Let's hope so. Looks like 17 more challengers died today. Guess I should count myself lucky. So I met this girl in the bar, right? Oh, God, not again. And I tell her Oh, Scarlet, good to see you. Let's record your first confessional, shall we? What? Oh. No, this really isn't my thing. The fine print on your contract says otherwise, sweetie. Mierda. Now. Describe your experience on your first few episodes of Homicidal All-Stars. It would have been a lot harder if I hadn't teamed up with Marty Manson. His help has been invaluable so far. So, you feel like he's been carrying you? No, we're a team. We help each other. He's got a lot to offer, but so do I. Okay, I think we got some good material here. Thank you. You can go now. Am I scared? Oh, honey. I'm a till to the motherfucking hun. 
It's those shitbird defenders who should be running scared. Ah, uh, Matilda. I remember watching you on the show. So cocky. Wonder how long it was after this recording that Ulysses took you out. How am I enjoying the show so far? Well, uh, I'm not sure I'd use the word enjoying. But hey, at least I'm not in prison. Haven't seen any cops around. So, uh, that's a big improvement. Back in Ukraine, there's a saying. Usikopovrodki. All cops are bastards. It's true there, and it's true here. Guess it's not just defenders who dodge prison sentences by being on the show. Episode three, huh? Let's give him a show, I suppose. <laughs> 